guys and welcome back to my channel so my name's Ellen if you are new and today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different I'm going to be testing out the new revolution foundation and concealer it has literally just arrived I've been waiting over a week literally for this to come it has taken forever to arrive and um, I plan on filming this video on Thursday and it's currently Saturday Um, yeah this is why this is going up a little bit later I know this came out like two weeks ago now I'm like a little bit late jumping on it but um I really wanted to try it because I know that it is like quite a matte foundation and I love matte foundations so I really wanted to try it for that reason and I also thought I would share it with you guys because it might help someone out who's thinking of getting it and I also put this on an Instagram poll on my Instagram and a lot of people said they wanted to see me test this out so that's what I'm going to be doing today. I have done my eyebrows and eye makeup but I don't have any foundation and face makeup on that's why I look crazy right now. Um, I know that I look crazy. Please don't write in the comments that I look disgusting because I know, okay, I know. And if you're going to comment about how my face is a different colour, it's because I have fake tan on, so don't come for that either. So on my channel, I literally just want to promote positivity and I don't want any hate, so I know we haven't had any so far, so thank you guys so much. And also, I'm in a little bit of a new setup because I thought I would just change it up a little bit um, and just sit in this side of my room and I've got my little cosy pillows super sparkly literally everything's sparkly in my room so yeah i have like the most girly bedroom you've probably ever seen in your life also finally before i get into it i just want to say if anyone really likes my eyelashes um or wants to know where they're from i am selling a whole bunch of them on my depop um it will be link in the description as normal um but yeah, I am selling them, I'm reducing them all to £4 each and these are faux mink eyelashes and they can be reused up to 25 times. I'm obsessed with them, I wear them all the time now. Um, I know some people might think they're like crazy dramatic but I really like them and if not, like I really like them for a night out as well. So yeah, let's shut up now and get on with the video. Also. I forgot to mention please like comment and subscribe I really appreciate it and now I'm gonna get on with the video I hope I can actually get into this because the boxes that I've been trying to get into lately something already fell out all right so I just opened the box and this is what it looks like when it when it comes it's all bubble wrap so this is the foundation and this is the concealer and yes I have tried the concealer before but I have never tried the super size version and I love this concealer at the minute this is my go-to concealer I've used a lot of concealers a lot of drugstore and a lot of high-end concealers and I love this concealer I actually love this concealer more than the Too Faced one um, I've never tried shape um, the Tarte Shape Tape one but apparently it's very similar to that um, it's like a dupe for it um, so definitely go and try out this concealer. So I have tried this concealer before but I've never tried the foundation before. So this is the foundation. This is just what it looks like. It's like a giant version of the concealer which is quite cool. But it just says Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation Liquid Foundation. So obviously it claims to be full coverage so that's what's what we're going to be testing out today. So it does claim to be full coverage so that is what we're mainly going to be testing out today. But I also am going to be doing a bit of a wear test and coming back in a few hours to see how it has worn. I do have quite oily skin. Um, I don't know if you can see now. I do have um, moisturiser and primer on. But yeah I do have quite oily skin so we'll see how this lasts on me because pretty much with every foundation I always have to top it up with powder throughout the day so we're going to see how it wears on me um and also this is 23 milliliters of product which isn't the most but it's quite decent I mean I'm pretty sure this was only nine pounds so yeah it's really good and also it is cruelty free and vegan for anyone who is wondering as well and the concealer is just the super size conceal and define full coverage concealer so yeah, this is pretty much like a, just a mini version of the foundation. They're both claim to full coverage and I love a full coverage. In the foundation, I got the shade F11. After watching like quite a few reviews and watching Holly Boone's review in particular, I decided to get F11. I think it'll match my fake tan quite well. And in the concealer, I got C8.5 because I didn't want a too much of a bright under, under eye. Um, I wanted more of like a natural under eye so they're the shades that I went for. I've literally just clipped my hair up so it's just out of my face and I don't get makeup in my hair and I've just moved you forward a little bit so you can see um, obviously the before and after. So this is my natural skin. I have 
moisturizer and primer on I have quite a lot of redness um, I don't have too many spots but I just have like little marks on my face like pretty much everywhere um, I don't like my skin at all um, it is very prone to redness and it is also quite oily so this obviously is my natural skin so what I'm gonna do is just open this and then put it on does anyone else like absolutely hate this plastic wrapping that you can just never get off it's usually worse on like found it um, mascaras I li literally can never get it off mascaras this is so difficult I'm finally into the foundation and this is what it looks like when it is open so it just has this huge applicator and I did expect to see this because obviously I have been watching quite a few reviews. I've never ever used a foundation like this before so I'm excited and I'm excited that it's full coverage. I just hope that it's an okay shade because at the minute it does look quite dark so I guess we're just going to put it on. So I'm just going to do like a few... At the minute I'm noticing that the applicator isn't great at picking up the product and it has just splattered some on my joggers as well and again it's just splattered two lots of foundation on my joggers so that is excellent um i'm not loving the applicator at all I, i'm gonna show you this can you see this i don't know if you can but it's just splattered two big um stains of foundation already on my joggers just from putting it on my face I do not like this applicator at all um, like you've got to be so careful that when it comes out of the tube it does not splatter anywhere also like I really don't know how much to put on I guess we're just gonna have to see and um, for shade I think it looks okay I mean obviously it doesn't match my natural um skin color but i want it to match my fake tan because i am like an avid fake tanner so yeah so i've literally just dampened my beauty blender this is the real techniques beauty blender why did i forget that um, and now we're just gonna blend it in <laughs> I think the shade is actually really nice. But I think you do need more product than you think, which I think this foundation might run out quite quick. I mean, just looking at it now, the coverage is good. You can see that it has covered pretty much all of my redness. I know I haven't finished yet. I've still got to put a little bit more on because it didn't actually stretch that far so you do need quite a lot of product but at the minute the finish and the coverage is quite good you can see the difference I'm literally so scared of this tube because it's just gonna go everywhere again I'm really surprised that you that you need this much product Right, let's hope that's enough because I'm going to be getting through this bottle so quick. <laughs> Even the hardest bit of doing foundation is putting it between your eyebrows. <laughs> to put on another layer because it is still not stretching far enough to cover my whole face like that is a massive downside to it like you need a lot of product just to cover your face and it's not quite covering I don't know if you can see but I've got some like veins at the side of my face and it's not quite covering them with just one layer but I think the shade is really nice And I really don't like the applicator. It's just, it's not that nice at all. I'd rather it just be a pump. The foundation.
foundation all blended in. I really like the shade. I think the shade is really nice. I like the finish of it. Like I like how it's matte. It's still a little bit sticky. So it doesn't dry instant, but I like how it's matte. I love matte foundations. For someone who's got oily skin, I really love matte foundations. Um, obviously the price is amazing. Um, the coverage is really good. It did take like a little bit more coverage like around, I've got like a few veins like around my forehead and it did take like a little bit more to cover them. Um, but it's covered all the redness, it's covered the little spots I had around here, I had like a little one there, it's pretty much covered that. Um, so yeah, so far so good, I just don't like like a couple of things, like I don't like the applicator. Um, but yeah, now we're going to try the concealer, I have tried the concealer before as I said, but I've never actually got this shade before, I think this is the darkest shade I've ever got. Um, so yeah, but this is a super size concealer and... I'm glad that they've brought out a super size concealer because I go through the concealer like no tomorrow. I hate this plastic wrapping. It's mad though how just like putting foundation on makes you look so much more alive. Like my face instantly looks so much better already. And yeah, now we're gonna try the concealer. I'm just gonna move my hair out of the way. I like the applicator on this concealer, but I just don't like it in the foundation. Like it's just not that great right I'll be careful not to ruin my eye makeup this is actually still quite light for me I guess it'll just give me quite a bright under, under eye which is fine I'm just going to take it up the nose and the chin and on the forehead as well yeah like the shade i'm not sure it is quite yellow um it might look good when it's blended in so we'll see i'm just taking the same beauty blender it's actually blended in like to like nothing like it's given me good coverage but the the shade hasn't actually shown up which i guess is all right This is why I don't like doing my eye makeup first because I am so scared of getting foundation over my eyeshadow. Concealer in fact. It's actually blended out really nicely like into a really nice shade. It's just giving me some nice brightness under my eyes. So yeah, I already love this concealer, but yeah, it just, it works really nice with the foundation as well. So this is literally just with foundation and concealer on my face and it looks really nice. So now I'm literally just going to finish the rest of my makeup on camera and get back to you after. foundation is literally fully dried down now like I just touched it and it's fully dried down which is good it's dried totally matte which I like I know some people don't like matte foundations some people like dewy foundations but being like someone who's quite oily I love matte foundations <laughs>
guys this is the finished look and i actually think this foundation and concealer combo is really really good um this is what my makeup turned out like obviously you've seen how i did it the only thing is i don't know if you can see but on my forehead there's like a tiny little patch of where um i was doing my cream contour on my forehead and it has actually rubbed away a little bit of the foundation but i have experienced this before with other foundations so i don't know if it's like the brush or the way i'm doing it or if it's the foundation i don't think it's a foundation because obviously i said it has happened before with other foundations um especially full coverage ones so i'm probably just going to put like a little bit of bronzer on top of that and hopefully it should go but yeah let's talk about the pros and cons so the pros are definitely that is full coverage it has covered all my redness that you saw at the start it has matched my body to my face really well the shade is amazing um to say i bought it online and just get It's a really good colour, um, the coverage as I said is amazing, um, it was really good to blend out, um, I haven't tried it with a brush yet but with the Beauty Blender it was really good to blend out, it might even be more full coverage with a brush, I'll have to try it, um, so yeah they're all the positives, obviously we'll see how it lasts as well but at the minute I really love the matte and for my oily skin it is doing wonders. Um, cons. I don't like the applicator, it is messy, um, it's not soft at all, like when you're putting it on the skin it's just hard, it's not soft, it is lit as soon as I took it out the tube, even slowly, it has put marks all down my trousers, um, especially if you're wearing light trousers. I would say if you're putting this foundation on, put a towel down because it just splatters everywhere, um, you need quite a lot of product, um, yeah I needed like three lots of putting it on um to cover my face and yeah that's not that great when you get 23 milliliters because you might run out quite quick usually you get like 30 mil in some foundation in most foundations so at the minute i've been loving the maybelline super stay 24 hour foundation which i've been wearing every single day i've kind of gone like totally high-end foundations now and i am loving drugstore i also got that idea from um of that foundation from holly boom because i tried the l'oreal um, foundation but I didn't like it it's probably because I've got oily skin and it is quite dewy and it also does make me quite oily but that one is super matte so if you're oily like me definitely try that one and then hopefully this one as well I mean I'm gonna come back and if any reason I don't come back it'll be in the comments a little review of how it lasted so make sure to check that out but yeah I think this is a really good foundation and I'm definitely be using it again and yeah my makeup turned out really really well so i hope you all enjoyed my little review please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye guys oh my god i can't believe i have to wash my joggers again you don't know.